So we've got some questions for you, Matt, from our young members. Uh, so first of all, what was it that first got you interested in cooperatives and then why did it appeal to you? Yeah, so I did, a, I did a business degree at university, but even prior to that, I was the kid at school who was setting up their own tuck shop uh, with stuff they'd bought from the supermarket and making mixtapes for people and selling them to my friends. So. I suppose I was always interested in entrepreneurialism and business, and you know, in many ways, I, you know, I, I subscribe to the idea that money makes the world go round, and business are the, are the ones that generate money. So, um, so I did a business degree, um, but by the end of a business degree, you know, I'd spent you know my teen years becoming interested in politics uh, and caring about the planet. You know, all these things you start caring about from sort of 13 to 16, 17 to 18, and became, I suppose, like quite disillusioned that um, you know the the state of the world uh, and the state of society, business wasn't really helping it. So I was all set to do a normal graduate program with a big, uh, big business. Um, and then I suppose I, I saw um, a, a job advert for a small co-op near where I lived called the Phone Co-op. Um, so a telecoms co-op um, employed about 15 people, uh, the only phone and broadband provider in the UK owned by its customers. And when I started looking into how they ran their business and that they were owned by their customers, all of a sudden I saw that the things that I really believed in, like deep down inside about you know, how we could make the world a better place or even our little corner of the world a better place, um, there was a co-op near me that was doing that. And it was the first time I think I'd seen uh, business and my values aligned um, and yeah it happened to be a co-op for me you know if we look at when I went to work for the phone co-op you know that's an industry where customer dissatisfaction is a norm you know everybody hates their phone and broadband provider but if the business is owned by its customers it's obviously completely different so I think you know the way they care about their customers uh, the way they care about society uh, the way they care about their employees is all completely different because they're the ones that are shaping the business that own the business and are having a say in how it's run